hey guys so what's up again another topic the topic is how you can integrate PHP with Tailwind so now the question is what is the requirement of this video there are two alternatives already first alternative is to use the CDN play CDN and another is to create Tailwind file first then use npm run build to de develop static pages and then use them to use our PHP code but these both of them are not efficient way to do your development for in first case while using play cdn there are many packages like if you use apply derivative or layer derivative or uh, any editing in your tailwind config file you face many problem with cdn and in case of next where you have first created tailwind file and then integrate with php there are very issues with php code because you have to change any time and you cannot create static pages again and again right so now let's learn how you can integrate both of them right so let's see okay so you can check a folder i have created that is named youtube and inside this is inside htdocs folder to run our php server and here i have already run this kind of code because I have already mentioned in our previous video how to set up Tailwind these comments are not extra from that video so you can check out that as well or if you know you can continue so after that you just have created these three comments just have input now the last or you can say the before last task is to create two files to CSS files, one is style.css and another is input.css. Both of them are required. First of all, is to take input as tailwind command and return output in style.css. Let me show. So, first of all, go to the documentation. This is the tailwind documentation, and this is the input.css code, right? So, this is our main CSS best to change your code into original CSS file now let's link that but now I am going to show you something nice I am going to include our style.css where our style.css is completely empty I have input.css with tailwind command right so now let's modify this area the tailwind config file right so inside tailwind config file you just need to include what are the code you are going to deploy you understand i hope because dot slash mean this direct document root and after that the wildcard that is star then dot and now HTML JS PHP here you can check HTML JS as well as we include our PHP right so it's done already now next task is to rename our HTML file to PHP file right okay this task is done as well now let's write some PHP code Okay, now let's class bg do okay let me first of all close class is going to start with another one yes no issues let's use single code here okay no issues now let's close php okay we we'll also get suggestions right here you can check let's make pg 300 and write some code hello 
php okay let's make the spelling correct okay so this saved now let's open the jam server start yeah now open browser localhost youtube hello php you can check the code is not working right now the main reason is i have nothing in my css file okay now our next task is to run a simple command here you can check already it is given now simply paste it now you have to change something because we don't have src folder right so we have to change that as well and output.css is going to change in style.css now enter you have to wait some time let it build now you can check our style.css is completely filled with css code and if you check right now just let me refresh and you can check our php code is integrated with tailwind css hope this helps a lot in your production time and many many thanks for watching make sure you subscribe till then take care bye